Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture 2024 for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladi Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to start a project in Revit. So if you are a beginner, you should know all these basic terms. In the previous class, I taught you about user interface. So if you have missed that tutorial, you can go and watch from my playlist absolutely free. So in this class, I am going to teach you how to work in Revit project. So if you'll open your Revit uh, software, you will see a first page like this, like recent files and families. So you can see here is models. So whatever project you are working, it will display it in the beginning and some sample projects uh, will be displayed afterwards. You can see all these are displayed in models and this one is families. So you can see there is a table and this is sample architecture family. You can see the sample structure family, sample system family. So we are uh, discussing about architectural families. So in uh, families, you can simply relate with the AutoCAD blocks. So if you are using AutoCAD, you can see there is a sample of AutoCAD blocks like furnitures, stairs, doors, windows and slabs and floors and any other objects uh, you are using CAD blocks for your AutoCAD project so you can similarly relate it with families in Revit so if you want to create anything in Revit that it will be a part of a family so you can see this is a table and is a part of a uh, furniture family you can simply relate it if you are creating bed it will be part of a furniture family and if you are creating stairs it will be part of a staircase family so whatever we will create in revit this will be known as families so can create families in using revit or you can also import from uh, external source in revit and you can use it and also revit is having some default as families and i will teach you in the later tutorial how to use this so if you look at these models here, you can simply click a Revit model file here. If you are working in uh, older file, you can simply open it. And if you want to create a new project, you can simply select this one new. And if you want to create uh, open a family, you can simply click this here and you can uh, open a uh, family here. Some uh, default families and you can also create a new family set here you can see there is a um, english imperial families here so if you want to create a baluster you can use this baluster of uh, dot rft so these are the revit families for creating so, and if you want to create a curtain wall you can use this and whatever uh, things if you want to create you can use this uh, rft file and these are all used for creating families so this is at the advanced level so we'll study about this so if i'm going to select these models here you can see there is a new tab here i am going want to create a new project you can see this is a new project and you can see this is called template file and you can select this from so this one is a new addition in revit 2024 imperial multidiscipline uh, and metric multidiscipline. So these are the two terms which are added in Revit 2024. And in the previous versions, there was only architecture, mechanical, plumbing, and electrical uh, template file. So you can use if you are an architect, you can use this architecture template file. If you are a mechanical engineer, you will use mechanical this default file. And if you are plumbing, you can use plumbing and so on like electrical. So in uh, beginning, uh, many uh, students and uh, professionals will find these terms missing. So you can also create by using uh, settings in Revit. So I'm going to teach you about this. Uh, suppose if uh, architecture is missing from this, mechanical is also missing and plumbing is also missing. So what you are supposed to do, I'm going to first cancel this. And now I'm going to create a new project here you can create a project also and project template so there is some difference between uh, creating a project and project template so if you look at the difference here you can see what is a revit project template so a revit project template is a revit file type so it will be denoted as dot rte 
and if you are working on a project file this is known as dot rvt file so this uh, both are uh, nearly some there is some difference so if you are working in revit project you will use dot rft so if you look at why your revit project template imported so the the main purpose is to save time on setting of your project so if you are working simultaneously with the mechanical engineers electrical engineers and plumbing engineers you can use revit project template file so these are the settings which will be similar for all the professional and if you are working on architectural design you can use revit project so generally we will use revit project here so you can see this is create new project and i am going to click ok here and now i am in my architectural uh, template file here you can see this is architectural project and you can see here there are two levels flow plus level one and level two these are the default levels which are given in uh, revit and you can work with floor plan, site plan also and you can work with ceiling and elevations and sections so these all are known as project browser so this is very important term here project browser so if you drag this uh, arrow here you can see there are a lot of settings here and you can also see the sheet setting here and you can also see the families here so these all are uh, included in project browser you can see this is project browser and this one is properties so you can work with uh, properties of any uh, object here with the help of these settings so these are known as properties and project browser you can simply move this to rightwards anywhere and you can bring it back to here so likewise you can uh, work with and suppose uh, by mistakes if you cross this it will be uh, deleted so I will tell you how to bring this so now our properties and project browser both are missing so simply you are required to go to view tab here and you can select this user interface you can see this is a user interface and I am going to select this and now whatever things if you want to bring it I am going to bring project browser so our project browser is uh, back and now I am going to bring properties. So our properties and project browser both are project browser there and, and properties. Can, so likewise you can this work this so with project browser now and can properties. So this one is uh, about properties and project browser. Now I am going to tell you how you can create your uh, template files. If you are missing uh, template files like architectural and electrical mechanical and plumbing you can do this so i'm going to my graphics hardware and file location you can see this is file location so you can see here project templates the template display in a list when you create a new project so you can see here imperial multidisciplinary you can see the location of this uh, file here see program data autodex rbt 2024 template file so this one is architecture the, you can see this is a plus sign so you can add new template file and you can also delete so suppose i want to delete this electrical one i'm going to select and you can see this red uh, mark is activated so i'm going to remove this electrical and again if you want to add a value here you can simply select electrical here and you can add electrical here this file so in many times if you install software these all four terms will be missing and you will find uh, difficult so you can uh, uh, study about this uh, method and you can create your own template file so likewise you can add and subtract from here so you can do your template file so this is our revit architecture this is our window here you can uh, call it a viewport and you can work here so you can select this project browser and you can select this level one this one and you can this is level two and you can also use this site plan here and you can also use this ceiling plan so if you want to uh, cross this i'm going to delete this and now i'm going to create a new and I'm going to select architecture 
and I am going to browse and you can see this is the default RTE so you can create your own architecture template file here and you can see we are back here so this is known as elevation marker so this is the area where we work on a drawing so suppose I am going to draw a wall here you can see I am going to teach you about how to draw a wall and now we can see here this is the wall and now I am using this elevation markers to draw our plan so these are basically for visualizing your uh, elevations here so these are known as elevation markers so basically it comes with uh, a Revit so in Revit Imperial uh, viewport it will be displayed like this one and in metric it will be different so suppose I am going to cross this here and now I am going to create a new architecture project and now I am going to use a metric here this one is English Imperial I am going to select this arrow and now I am going to templates and now I will select a metric unit so I am going to use English and I'm going to use default metric dot rt. I can see these elevation marks are different from an imperial unit, so you can simply remember this. This is the um, metric viewport here. You can use this template file to work in architectural project. So whatever uh, units you are using, you will use all these settings here. So you can cross this. So now you can simply understand about understood about how to create a project and now I am going to again select architecture here and I will click OK. So basically this is about how to start a project in Revit. In the next video tutorial we will understand about some more basic settings in Revit. So if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and share it. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.